So basically with Flutter, if you go into web renderers, you will find out that you have two main modes for rendering. You have the HTML renderer and the canvas kit renderer. The HTML renderer uses a combination of HTML, CSS, and other elements to render. It is faster, the load size is smaller, as you can read uh, right here. Instead, the canvas kit, it takes more time, and yeah, it's heavier. But as you can read right here, it uses canvas element. Uh, even if uh, here it says that it uses HTML elements, that doesn't mean that for semantic stuff use HTML elements and this is the main problem of Flutter and why it is a little bit problematic to use it for the web. Um, so I'm talking about it because I'm mainly a front-end web developer. So I learned Flutter after, so I'm more into front-end web development. Let me show you some examples to analyze this thing here. So right now we have a really simple example. I have deleted everything. I only have left the scaffold, a center widget and a text. Okay, let me rebuild the application. Let me close here. Uh, we want to use Chrome. Let me paste the command right here, press enter. So let's right click inspect to see the main tags. So uh, for those who, are, who don't know, uh, when you are developing on web, this is an essential tool that let you inspect the elements of your, uh, your page. You can use the console to give uh, some comments with JavaScript, or you have more things you can debug on sources, etc. So now let's go into elements. If you haven't selected it and um, here we have all our main tags like html head body etc all the comment uh, all the main content must be under body and yeah let's take a look at our simple text so as you can see uh, even if we have used html uh, semantically it should use uh, for example, a span or a p tag for this text, but uh, we will not find it at all. The only thing that we will find is a canvas with the text inside. So, as you can see, here is the canvas. So, he here is the main canvas. So, as you can see, even if it is a text, draws it on a canvas and uh, instead of drawing one canvas in this mode with the html mode draws multiple canvas and use the other elements to style and center for example our canvas as you can see here we have a position absolute transform translate that it basically puts the canvas element at the center so even if it says HTML, that doesn't mean that it's using a HTML tag. And then now if you try to look, for example, at the text, a simple text here, simple text. As you can see, you are not able to find it. This is the main reason why I say that it is a problem because for the crawler, it is a problem because um, it needs to know the, co the main content that uh, it is inside uh, your page to understand what you have wrote, etc. This way you don't have any way because this is simply a drawing for, for, the, for the crawler, this is simply a drawing. So it has any way to show it. And even though if you use any uh, way to show some text behind, while this text is rendered, for example, like this. So now if you try to look for a simple text, you will find it, even if it is behind the content, so it is not visible. It is not the same element because obviously this is uh, our 
element that we have created right now we are able to find it but this technique here is called cloaking and you cannot use it or you will get uh, banned from from at least google i don't know other search engines if they will ban you but probably probably so this is the main problem even though if you have html it is not real html because these tags are really important and it is important that they have a semantic meaning so it is important that they use for example header when you have a header they use a footer when you have a footer etc when you have h1 tag should be a title and you span for other things p for paragraphs etc and in this way you have no header and nothing than canvas basically but now let's take a look at the other command so this is the other one it is the canvas kit so as you can see uh, right now we have used the canvas kit as you can see you have less elements not like before and you have only one canvas that it is uh, refers for all the block so the entire thing that you see on your screen and yeah but if you take a closer look you will see that there is a really important thing that the content looks a lot better than the one before so even though the other one is really fast i would go for this one because uh, the content seems uh, really it seems better it seems better even though it takes more time you can use some animation for people to to let them know that is loading and yeah that's it and as you can see in here you have less elements in the main canvas but at the end the thing is the same the difference is that in the other way uh, as they say it will take less time to 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 load so just to give you another example this is what i was referring to the last time for example if you want to build an application like this one that shows some informations on the back you can use flutter because you don't want your content to be seen on the internet this is personal content and you want you don't want to to the crawler to know that this content is online this is a perfect example where you can use flutter the cool thing about flutter is that you can create a really complex animations that with javascript uh, html and css are really hard really really hard to do or or impossible let's say because in flutter there are some complex animations that are really hard to do with javascript or you you should go for other things than than javascript this is another page example you have uh, a list of things on on a server but it depends on you because sometimes you want the content of your server to appear on search engines and uh, it really depends this is in the other hand an example of an article based website so here you have some uh, information some articles that it is not the best thing to do with flutter at all so you can do it with html javascript css and the other part the part where you have to log in and you have to manage uh, for example your user or things like that you can do it absolutely with flutter so you you will have a split application uh, in the front this part here should be with html uh, javascript etc and uh, the crawler it will be able to fetch your content and see your, uh, your content the application uh, in the front this part here should be with html uh, javascript etc and uh, the crawler it will be able to fetch your content and see your, uh, your content this is an example of application done with node so here you have uh, some tags and you have uh, meaningful content for example meaningful meaningful tags that for example header main and footer and if you take a look inside you will see that you have some tags that define the type of content 
For example, here for the first heading, the most important one, we use an H1, and here we use a paragraph for uh, a paragraph. And we use the footer to let the crawler know that this is a footer, this is a main, and this is a header. So this is how search engines should know uh, your inner content, because now you are able to uh, change your content. If you try to look at it here, you are able to so let's see this is the main difference between um, between flutter and and web and why it is a problem i don't know maybe things will change with in artificial intelligence and how the crawler uh, is able to fetch to fetch data maybe it is possible but not assured at all but this is it this is the content how it get fetched by the crawler and the main problem is flutter uh, wraps all his uh, content inside the canvas so with the html uh, all these contents here probably would have tr been transformed into single canvases with the first example so this would have been a canvas and these two these two and these two and instead for the other example the entire content would have been transformed into a big canvas so i really hope that now it is more clear and if you have any question or anything else let me know in the comment section and in i'll do my best to reply to you and let you understand thank you so much